So my name is Fabio Toscan. I'm from Liechtenstein. Uh, I live and study in Switzerland. So I started swimming at the age of 12, but I've always been close to the water or in the water even before because my father used to be a swimming coach. So he stopped before I was born already, but he always went to the pool and my mother was a swimmer also before I was born. But we always went to the pool and I liked it there. It was interesting to me, I liked it, I liked the challenge. I think it is also a good balance for me to not just have one thing that you focus on, not just studying. Liechtenstein is a small country. We only have 30,000 citizens. Not all sports are uh, played here because you have to look at the relative size of the country as well. And secondly, I believe swimming in Liechtenstein is in its infancy. So they are building the infrastructure right now, but it's slow. And most people that do want to become good in swimming, they move to Switzerland. It sometimes is a little bit overwhelming being the only one in the delegation. However, for me, it was also quite a unique experience that I could have because I've never been to China. I've never been to Chengdu in particular. I really wanted to come here. Um, for me, it was all a big goal in my swimming career, in my life as a swimmer, to come to World University Games, to come to Chengdu, because I know I can't make the semi-final or the final, but I can, cl can come closer, but now it's just about enjoying the moment and still giving my absolute best. I really enjoy every moment being here and the trip meant to me, this is probably the biggest event I can win and witness as a swimmer, or for sure I can witness because I know that I'm here right now. I can experience everything, the beautiful athlete village, uh, the pool, the opening ceremony, but also to compete against the best students in the world in my sport. And uh, that's quite a unique experience. And also to represent my country on the international stage is uh, an honor. I think not many might know it because it's that small. I don't even know if you learned in school, to be honest with you. I have no idea, but uh, I hope so. I hope I can have a good influence because Lincoln China has given me a lot. You know, they pay for me to come in here. They support me um, and so on and so forth. And they enable me to do a lot of things and uh, they support me wherever they can. And I hope that I can give something back. So for me, it was quite difficult. I had a difficult season to be honest with you. I had a shoulder injury that hindered me a little bit from training. Until now I haven't performed at my best. Of course I got the 21st place in the tournament backstroke which is quite a good result but I could have done better. I believe could have got close to a semi-final. Not, not quite at the semi-final but I would have been closer because semi-final is a like 16th position and maybe I could have gotten up there a little bit. It would have been nice to be in the top 20 because it's very hard to become a professional swimmer in uh, Liechtenstein um, because it's uh, also financially quite challenging to do that and I, will, I don't believe I'm becoming a professional swimmer I'd, I'd have to be a little bit better in swimming because in the, at the end of the day a swimming career lasts just as long as it does because you are restricted with age but um, when I get a good degree, it takes me a lot further and also it is where I will earn my money. And I think that's also something that carry always in business. You have to fight, not literally fight, but you have to fight. You have to be uh, tough, you have to work, you have to be precise. If you want to be good at something, you have to strive for it. I will graduate in winter, this winter, and um, yeah, then I'm, I think about working half a year and then moving into my master's degree.